Before beginning, ensure compatibility of the connection by checking the article code. Take the quick instruction guide and the electrical limit switch out of the box. Check the length of the spindle for your actuator based on the list 1.2.1 in the quick instruction guide. This is only necessary for thread version M16X1, article code 024.50.160. Now the length of the spindle must be adjusted and locked with the nut if required on the list. If you use a fail-safe open or double acting actuator, slide the o-ring over the mounting thread. Attention! The sealing cap or any attached object on the actuator has to be removed from the connection thread. For assembly of version M16X1, Stoke and move the actuator into the open position to avoid any damage caused by the wrong spindle adjustment. Now the electrical limit switch has to be threaded in clockwise and tightened by a 19 with 5 nm size wrench. After that, close the valve. There are two possibilities for programming of the electrical limit switch. The programming via light source or via fifth pin with 24 volt. For programming of the electrical limit switch via light, please take the flashlight out of the box. Now thread on the five pole plug and supply the electrical voltage to the limit switch. To program the device, the application point for the flashlight has to be illuminated three times within 20 seconds after supplying voltage. The confirmation of each light impulse is done by orange shining LEDs. After the third illumination, wait until the LEDs shine permanently violet. Open the valve and hold this position until the LEDs shine permanently violet. Close the valve to finish the programming. The end of the programming is indicated by a change in colors. The electrical limit switch shines blue and is now ready for use. Thread on the five pole plug and supply the electrical voltage to the limit switch. The electrical limit switch is put into programming mode by supplying voltage on the pin five. The programming mode is indicated by permanently shining violet. Open the valve and hold this position until the LEDs shine permanently violet. Close the valve to finish the programming. The end is indicated by a color change. Shut off the voltage from the pin 5. The electrical limit switch shines blue and is now ready for use. Alternatively, you can use a teach-in cable to apply voltage on the pin 5. A teach-in cable is an available option. The programming procedure using a teach-in cable is the same as for the pin 5. The only difference is that supplying voltage on pin 5 is done by pushing and holding the button. If you need further information, please contact SED Flow Control directly or visit our website at www.sed-flowcontrol.com.